Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is fast forward movement. This is someone who is very eager to communicate with you. This person has a lot they want to say to you or to reveal to you. There is an energy of someone who, uh, they feel like they have to act quickly here. This person, I'm seeing someone who really wants to win you over. They want to avoid losing you in some way. There could be a rushed offer coming from this person. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, water energy. Eight of Swords, air energy. And the Five of Wands in the reverse, fire energy. So this can be someone who you felt very tied to. There was almost like, you may have felt like you couldn't get over this person. You could have felt trapped to, with this person. And at the same time, there was a lot of conflict. This can be inner conflict. There's this energy of being somewhere where you don't want to be. It's like you want to leave, but something is keeping you stuck here. Especially with that Eight of Swords. It's like a trap, feeling it trapped somewhere. Feeling like you can't move. Uh, but there's this energy here of overcoming that conflict. This could be that inner conflict. You could also have a lot of conflict with this person. It's like you love them, but you guys don't see eye to eye on things. And there's a lot of conflict or drama or people outside the connection are instigators. Or there's just a lot of outside influence that has led to the situation being unfavorable. But at the same time, it's like you, you were very much mentally you just couldn't let this go but with the five of cups being the reverse it's like you're finally getting over something or you're finally moving forward you're moving on or this is how this person is perceiving you they have this feeling that they are losing their grip on you you may be less reactive to this person and that's how they are picking up they, they, they're perceiving you as um becoming less emotionally tied to them and so this person feels like they need to do something to keep you Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So there's again, it's like this person is chasing after you. They feel like they have to act quickly. This person is very much uh, pursuing you. This person is very passionate about you, but they feel like they need to be more... Um, more forward moving with you there's this energy of really feeling like they need to take action towards you they want to prevent you from getting away um this person feels very uh triggered here okay so let's see okay we have the queen of wands fire energy the two of wands fire energy and the nine of pentacles earth energy so definitely this person feels like you've got a lot of options they feel like you're exploring your options or you're opening yourself up to other people now they feel like you know you are you're moving on you you you're you're not you're not blindfolded on them anymore you're not fixed on them anymore you're becoming independent and you are a catch this person knows your worth they see your worth and there's a fear that other people see it too that someone else can come and take you so i'm seeing this person feeling like they need to do something major to keep you okay so i'm going to put an oracle card for you gemini
okay so the card says prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus so i'm seeing with the taurus energy someone here is really wanting to keep you uh this is someone who is i'm seeing a bit of a stubborn energy it's like they won't let you go easily there's also a bit of a possessive energy this person in their mind you're theirs and they feel triggered by the fact that there could be competition this this is a feeling that kind of triggers them to to act or to take action this is someone who's very afraid of losing you to someone else because they see you as very valuable they see you as luxurious they see you as someone who brings a lot to the table and they don't want you to be bringing that to someone else's table. They don't want you to, um, you know, to explore or keep your options open. This person wants you to be theirs. They want you to be stuck on them. Um, they see you as this prosperity. They see you as someone who's valuable and they want to keep you all to themselves. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. I mean, Gemini. Okay, so the card says wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this person could propose something quite serious with you. This could be a commitment. This can be a promise. This could even be a, a, a proposal. Um, but there's an energy of offering you some sort of commitment to prevent you from leaving. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. So the card says lily majesty and virtue the lily is the emblem rare of many virtues good and rare and we have the nine of pentacles so definitely this is someone who's putting you on a pedestal this is someone who's seeing your worth they're seeing you as very valuable and they hold you in high regard um, this person also sees you as rare in their life they haven't encountered someone like you so they want to keep you there's that energy of recognizing your uniqueness recognizing your value Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.